everybody. Today we are going to crochet this knot bag. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below along with the timestamp so you can skip ahead to whatever part you want. To close this bag, we are just going to slide the shorter handle over the longer one like this. My beige bag has a slightly longer handle to use as a shoulder bag so we can adjust the length for the handle. This is a step by step beginner friendly tutorial and we are going to use a very easy lacy stitch for it. Hello and welcome to Let's All Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new, please subscribe for similar tutorials. To crochet this knot bag, this is the yarn that I am going to use. It is Red Heart Super Saver. Each skein has 198 grams and 364 yards of yarn. So this is a weight 4 or a medium weight yarn and the color is buff or beige. Now you don't need to use exactly the same yarn. You can use any weight 4 yarn for this bag. I'm going to leave the details in the description box below. We will also need a 5 mm or an 8 size crochet hook, scissors, measuring tape, a tapestry needle and some stitch markers which we will use to attach the handle. Now let's begin. We can either begin with a chain 4 ring or a magic ring. I'm going to leave the easiest magic ring tutorial on the top right of the screen and in the description box below. For this tutorial, we will begin with the chain 4 ring. Make a slip knot first. We can make this however we want. Once we make a slip knot, we are going to chain 4. Yarn over and then pull through the loop. This is our first chain. Yarn over and pull through our second chain, our third chain and our fourth chain. And now we are going to slip stitch to this very first chain that we made. We have our slip knot here and this is the first chain. So insert your hook into the first chain, yarn over and then pull through this loop and pull through the loop on your hook. So we have made our ring. Here is a little tip, we are not going to work into the space we see here. This is the space in the chain 1. We are going to close the space by tugging on the slip knot and find the space in the center of the ring. And this is the space we are going to work in. Round 1, we are going to chain 1. Now the chain 1 will not count as a stitch in any of the rounds. We are going to make 8 half double crochet in the center of this ring. So yarn over first. Insert your hook into the center of the ring. Then we are going to yarn over again and pull through. So we have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over again and pull through all three. We have made our first half double crochet. Now as we make our next half double crochet, we are just going to work over this tail end. Yarn over, insert your hook into the center of the ring. Yarn over and then pull through. We have three loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through all three. Let's make our next. In the same way, we are going to continue making half double crochet till we have 8. I will meet you at the end of this round. In case you have started with the magic ring, you will start round 1 in the same way. Chain 1. This will not count as a stitch. Make a half double crochet in the center of the ring. We are going to continue making half double crochets in the center of the ring till we have 8. I will meet you once we finish. I have finished making my 8 half double crochet and we can count them by counting the V's that we see. We are just going to close the ring after we have 8. So we will close by tugging on this tail end here. And now we are going to join by a slip stitch to this very first half double crochet. So what we have here is our chain 1 and right after that, this is our first half double crochet. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the first half double crochet, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Round 2, we are going to begin with a chain 1. This will not count as a stitch. Now we are going to go back to the same stitch. So just pull this up a bit and you will see a small gap here, which is where we are going to make two half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space here. Make another half double crochet. 
Now we are going to go to our next stitch here and make two half double crochet in it as well. Yarn over first, insert your hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. So this is our second half double crochet in the same stitch. So in this round we are going to make two half double crochets in every stitch till the end of the round. So in the next stitch let us make two half double crochets. Continue till you reach the end of the round and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the round. If we count all our half double crochets, we are going to have 16 at the end of round 2. Now remember, this is my last stitch. What we see here is a slip stitch of the previous round. This is a chain 1 and this is our first half double crochet. So we are going to join by a slip stitch in this first half double crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V of this first stitch, yarn over and pull through. And pull through the loop on your hook. Round 3. Begin with the chain 1 and make 2 half double crochets in the same stitch. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the same stitch. Make 1 half double crochet. I'm sorry. Yarn over. Go back to the same stitch. And this is a second half double crochet. Now we are going to go to the next stitch and make 1 half double crochet in it. Go to the next stitch, make 2 half double crochets in it. 1 and 2. In the next stitch, we are going to make 1 half double crochet. In this round, our repeat pattern is going to be 2 half double crochets in one stitch and 1 in the next. 2 half double crochet in the next and 1 in the next. Continue till the end of the round and I will meet you there. At the end of the round, if we count our stitches, we are going to have 24. This is our slip stitch. After that, we have a chain 1 and this here is our first half double crochet joined by a slip stitch to it. So insert your hook and make a slip stitch. Round 4, we are going to begin with a chain 1 and make 2 half double crochets in the same stitch. 1 and 2. Half double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next. So our repeat pattern for this round is going to be two half double crochets in the next, one half double crochet in the next and one half double crochet in the next. So let's do it. In this one we are going to make two, one and two in the same stitch. In the next one we are going to make one half double crochet. I'm sorry. And in the next one, we are going to make one half double crochet. So continue repeating till the end of the round and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the round. If we count all our stitches, we are going to have 32. Join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of this round. Round 5. Begin with a chain 1 and make two half double crochets in the same stitch. 1 and 2. In the next stitch, we are going to make one half double crochet. In the next stitch, we are going to make one half double crochet. And in the next stitch, we are going to make one half double crochet. Repeat pattern for this round is going to be two half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next, one half double crochet in the next, and one half double crochet in the next. Let's do it together. So we'll make two half double crochet now. One and two, one half double crochet in the next and one half double crochet in the next and one half double crochet in the next. So we are going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the round and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the round. I am going to end by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. If we count all our stitches, we are going to have 40 at the end of round 5. Six. Begin with a chain 1. Make 2 half double crochets in the same stitch. 1 and 2. Make 1 half double crochet in the next. 1 half double crochet in the next. 1 half double crochet in the next. And 1 half double crochet 
in the next. So our repeat pattern for this round is going to be two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next four. Two half double crochet in the next and one in the next four. I will meet you at the end of this round. At the end of this round, I have 48 half double crochet. Join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. Round 7. Begin with a chain 1 and make 2 half double crochets in the same stitch. 1 and 2. And now we are going to make a half double crochet in the next 5 stitches. So we will make 1 in the next 5. 1. Go to the next 2. Go to the next 3. Go to the next 4. And go to the next 5. So the repeat in this round is going to be two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next five. I will meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, we are going to have 56 half double crochet joined by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. Eight, chain one, half double crochet twice in the same stitch. One, Half double crochet once in the next six. One, go to the next two, go to the next three, go to the next four, go to the next five, go to the next six. So the repeat pattern in this round is going to be two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next six. I will meet you at the end of the round. We have 64 half double crochet joined by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. Round nine, begin with a chain one. Half double crochet two times in the same stitch. One and two. Half double crochet in the next seven. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. One, Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So the repeat pattern for this round is going to be two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next seven. I will meet you at the end of this round. At the end of the round, we have 72 half double crochet. We are going to join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. This is our last half double crochet round, round 10, chain 1, 2 half double crochets in the same stitch, 1 and 2. And now 1 half double crochet in the next 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'm sorry, 7, and 8. So our repeat pattern for this round is going to be 2 half double crochet in the next stitch and 1 in the next 8. I will meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, we are going to join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. We are going to have 80 half double crochet. Now we are going to the lace rounds of our bag. We are going to begin with a chain 3. This is round 11. So this chain 3 counts as our first half double crochet. We are not going to work in the same stitch. Go to the next V or the next stitch that you see and we are going to make a double crochet in it. So yarn over first. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and then pull through. We have 3 loops on our hook. We are going to yarn over and pull through 2. We have 2 loops. We are going to yarn over and pull through the last two. After we do this, we are going to chain one. Go back to the same stitch and make another double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and pull through. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through two. We have two loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the last two. After the double crochet, we are going to go to this next stitch and make a double crochet in it. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. 
Now we are going to skip one stitch. So we have worked in this stitch, skip the next stitch and in the next stitch we will make a double crochet. In the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet first. Then we are going to chain one and make a double crochet again in the same stitch. And in the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet. So this is going to be a repeat pattern for this round. We are going to skip one stitch. In the next stitch we are going to make one double crochet. Go to the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet. Then chain one. Go back to the same stitch and make a double crochet. In the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet. So continue repeating this pattern till the end of the round and I will meet you there. Reach the end of the round so you can see my last repeat of double crochet. Then in the next stitch I have made a double crochet, chain 1 and a double crochet. In the next stitch I have made a double crochet. At the end of the round we are going to have one stitch left. We are going to skip it. We aren't going to work into it. Next here we can see a slip stitch of the previous round and then we have our chain 3. So 1, 2 and 3. This is our first double crochet. So in the third chain we are going to join by a slip stitch. So insert your hook into the third chain, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. Round 12. We are going to begin this round differently. We will begin with two slip stitches. So we are going to slip stitch to this next double crochet and this chain 1 space. So first let's slip stitch to this next double crochet. What we have here is the chain 3 of the previous round. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the next double crochet like this. Yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. And now we are going to do the same for this chain 1 space. Just insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. This is because we want to begin our round in this chain 1 space. Now we are going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This is going to count as our first double crochet of this round. Go back to the same space and make another double crochet. So yarn over, just insert your hook into the space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. Now we are going to chain 1. Now we are going to go back to the same space and make 2 double crochets. So yarn over, go back to the same space, make 1 double crochet, yarn over, go back to the same space and make 1 more double crochet. So now for this round this is what we are going to do in all the chain 1 spaces of this V that we see. So this is the very first V we made 2 double crochet chain 1, 2 double crochet in this space. Now jump to the next space that you see here and we are going to make 2 double crochet chain 1 and 2 double crochet. Now remember that this here is not the space of the V so this is not the chain 1 space. We are going to jump to this chain 1 space that we see here and make 2 double crochets, 1, then 2, then chain 1 and make 2 double crochet in the same space, 1 and 2. So we are going to continue repeating this pattern till the end of the round. You can just skip these 4 double crochet that you see and jump to this chain 1 space that you see here. Make 2 double crochet, 1, 2, then chain 1 and then 2 double crochet in the same space. Continue till the end of the round and I am going to meet you there. I have reached the end of the round so you can see my last repeat in this last chain 1 space. We are going to skip these last 4 double crochet and now we are going to jump to the third chain and make a slip stitch. We know this is a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3. Our third chain. Insert your hook into the third chain. Yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. From now on we are just going to continue repeating round 12 for pattern till we reach the height of the bag that we want. I am just going to show you one repeat of round 12. So this is how we are going to begin by slip stitching to the next double crochet. So insert your hook yarn over and 
pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook. Insert your hook into this next chain 1 space, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook. After the 2 slip stitches, we're going to chain 3. This is our first double crochet. Then make a double crochet in this chain 1 space. Make 1 chain 1. Make 2 double crochets. 1 and 2. Now we're going to jump to this next chain 1 space or this next V that we see. Make 2 double crochets. Chain 1 and 2 double crochets in the same space. Continue repeating till the end of the round. Join by a slip stitch to this third chain of this first chain 3. I have finished all my repeats of round 12. I have measured my bag from the top right up till the bottom and it measures about 11 inches. So if you want it to be taller, you will just repeat round 12 a few more times. I am going to stop here. So I have ended by a slip stitch in the third chain of the chain 3. We are not going to slip stitch to the next double crochet and the chain 1 space. We are going to make a half double crochet round instead. So we are going to chain 1 first and then half double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, go back to the same stitch and make your half double crochet. Now we are going to half double crochet in this next double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V. We are not going to make a half double crochet in this chain 1 space. We are going to jump to the next double crochet and make a half double crochet in it. Make a half double crochet in the next double crochet. So for this round, this is what we are going to do. Make a half double crochet in the first double crochet. Half double crochet in the next double crochet. We are not going to work into this chain 1 space. Skip this. Go to the next double crochet and make a half double crochet in it. And make a half double crochet in this last double crochet. So make a half double crochet in the first double crochet, half double crochet in the second. We are going to skip this chain 1 space. Make a half double crochet in this next double crochet and half double crochet in the next double crochet. Continue till you reach the end of the round and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the half double crochet round. This is my last shell. Made a half double crochet in the first double crochet in the next double crochet. Skip this chain 1 in the middle. Made a half double crochet in the next double crochet and a half double crochet in the last double crochet. So we have reached the end of the round. Join by a slip stitch to the first half double crochet of the round. So this is the top of my bag and right after ending this half double crochet round, we are going to start making the handle for the bag. So we are just going to chain 1 and start with half double crochets in this direction. I am going to show you exactly how to make it. Chain 1, half double crochet in the same stitch. And now we are going to half double crochet in the next 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So this is the first row of the handle. Now we are just going to chain 1 and turn our work. So just turn the entire bag like this. And now we are going to work in this direction. The loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch. It does not count as a stitch. And this is the first half double crochet that we will make a half double crochet in. So yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V and make your half double crochet. Now we are going to go to the next stitch and make a half double crochet in it as well. Half double crochet in the next. And we are going to continue till we reach the end here. I will meet you there. So counting from this very first half double crochet I made, I have made 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And my last half double crochet is still left. So make sure you don't skip this. We are going to yarn over, turn our work so we can see this last V here. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V and make your half double crochet. 
So at the end of every row, we are going to have 10 half double crochet. So this is the end of row 2. Now we are just going to repeat row 2 for pattern for the handle. We are going to chain 1 and then turn our work. Once we turn, we know the loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch. It is not a stitch. Go to this first half double crochet. We are going to make a half double crochet in it. Half double crochet in the next. And continue making one half double crochet in all the stitches till the last stitch. I will meet you there. So I've made nine half double crochet and we want to make sure we don't miss this very last one. Yarn over. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Make your last half double crochet. Always count your half double crochet at the end of every row. From now on, we're just going to continue repeating row two for pattern till we have about seven to seven and a half inches. This is going to be our short handle. So I will meet you once we finish this. So I've finished making the short handle and mine is about seven and a half inches. So we have started the first row of the handle from here and this is where the first row ended. So in the next stitch, we're going to start counting and count eight half double crochet. So you can see this is where we have made our last half double crochet. Right from the next stitch, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And in this next half double crochet, we're going to mark a stitch marker. So this is where we're going to attach the handle. The thing we're going to do is just turn this bag inside out so that the wrong side faces us. So this is the wrong side of my bag. And this is the first stitch marker that we had placed. So I've counted nine stitches from the next stitch and placed my next stitch marker. We are going to start attaching the handle at this stitch marker and continue till this stitch marker. We are going to attach it with slip stitches. So I just forgot to say, it doesn't matter whether you slip stitch in this direction or in this direction, as long as you slip stitch between the two stitch markers that we have put. So first we are going to chain one. Now insert your hook into the stitch with the stitch marker like this and we are going to find the first stitch on our handle. So go to the first half double crochet on the handle and insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Then we are going to yarn over, pull through both the loops of this first half double crochet here and this first half double crochet here and then the loop on our hook. So we have made a slip stitch. Now we are going to go to the next stitch, insert our hook, go to the next stitch on the handle, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through both these stitches and pull through the loop on our hook. Going to go to the next stitch, insert our hook, to the next stitch, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through both the stitches, pull through the loop on our hook and continue till we reach the very last stitch and I will meet you there. So I've reached the last stitch. If you count all the slip stitches, you're going to have 10. The last slip stitch is in the stitch with the stitch marker. Now we're just going to leave a small tail about 6 to 7 inches and cut the yarn. Now pull out a loop by tugging on your hook and we're just going to weave this tail end in the bag inside out again so that we are at the right side and then we will attach our second handle. So this is the right side of my bag and this is where I had started making the first short handle. We had begun with a chain one and made 10 half double crochets in this direction then chain one and made the next row and so on till we reach the end here and join the handle on that side. Starting from the next stitch here we are going to count 21 stitches. We are going to skip 21 stitches and in the next stitch or the 22nd stitch we are going to add a stitch marker. So I have started counting from the stitch 1, 2, 3 and continue till I reached my 21st stitch here. Skip the 21st and in the 22nd I have added my stitch marker. Now we are going to attach the yarn in the stitch marker here to begin our second handle. Just insert your hook like this. Catch the yarn in a loop form and we are going to pull it through. After this, we are going to chain 1. We are going to half double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, go to the same stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all 3. Now we are going to go to the next stitch and make a half double crochet. Half double crochet in the next. So we are going to continue till we have 10 half double crochet in all. Starting from the first stitch, I will meet you once we finish. So starting from this first half double crochet, I have 10 in all. The chain 1 does not count as a stitch. Now let's go to row 2. We are going to chain 1 and turn our work. We already know how to work this row. The loop on the hook is not a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch. Go to the first half double crochet. Make a half double crochet in it. Half double crochet in the next. And continue till you reach the last. Just like the short handle, for the long handle, we are going to continue 
row 2 for pattern as many times as we want. So the long handle can be as long as we want it to. So I will tell you how long I have made mine. So this is the green bag and my long handle is about 16 inches because this is the folded handle. So once we open it up, it is 16 inches. So for the beige bag, my long handle is about 25 to 26 inches long. And when it is folded, it is about 12 to 13 inches. So now this is where we had started the first row of the long handle. And this is our stitch marker. So we are going to count 8 stitches from this very next stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And in the next stitch, we are going to add a stitch marker. So this is where we are going to start slip stitching the handle till we finish slip stitching it. Then we are going to turn our bag inside out and slip stitch on the wrong side. Make sure the handle is completely straight and not twisted in the center. We already know how to slip stitch just like the other handle. First we are going to chain 1, insert our hook into the first stitch on this side and on this side. And we are going to yarn over, pull through both these loops and through the loop on our hook. Go to the next stitch on this side and on this side, yarn over, pull through both these stitches and pull through the loop on our hook. Continue till you reach here. You can also slip stitch in this direction. It doesn't matter which direction you slip stitch in. I have finished slip stitching till this end. I have 10 slip stitches in all. Now we are going to leave a long tail about 6 to 7 inches. Cut the yarn, pull out a loop by tugging on the hook and we are going to weave this in. Thank you so much for watching. Your bag is now ready to use. The written pattern has been linked in the description box below. Here are some similar tutorials you may enjoy. See you next time.